Uh, let's get started. So what we are going to talk today is uh, life life job product development from an industry perspective. Before we go into the presentation, quickly the outline of the presentation will talk about uh, uh, briefly uh, lifelization, freeze drying, and then get into the formulation design and development followed by process design and development. And lastly, we'll briefly touch on the design consideration for our drug product presentation and conclude with summary. With that, uh, quickly, uh, regarding lyophilization, also called freeze drying, it's typically carried out in uh, three steps. Uh, it starts with the freezing step, um, where we convert water into ice. Uh, primary drying, where we remove the ice that we formed in the freezing step uh, via sublimation under low temperature and pressure condition. And uh, the last step of the process is second design, where we remove the unfrozen water, the water that did not freeze in the freezing step via desorption. Typically, at the end of secondary drying, the residual water is less than a percent. And a significant fraction of marketed biotherapeutics are lyophilized. So really, lyophilization is a critical uh, uh, manufacturing unit operation. What you see in the schematic down here is a typical lyophilization process parameter. On the left-hand y-axis, we have temperature. On the right-hand y-axis, we have pressure. And on the x-axis, we have time. The process starts with the loading of the uh, filled containers, whether it be vial, cartridges, or syringes. And then uh, it starts with the freezing, followed by primary drying, secondary drying, and ends with the unloading of the container from the lyophilizer. And uh, lyophilization is truly a multidisciplinary science. It involves understanding the mechanism of uh, stabilization of protein in the solid state developing analytical and a physical characterization tool to characterize the protein in the solid state, and lastly also process engineering, process control, and technology development to design and develop the freeze drying process. And implementation in industry requires a comprehensive strategy. Of course, it starts with investment and introduction of advanced process technologies, harmonizing the analytical methods that are lyospecific, improvement of process and analytical capabilities at commercial scale, and implementation of quality by design principles. 